afternoon, good evening. Welcome from wherever you're watching or listening to us. The only thing I am I can um, hear in my brain is because I've had Houdini, the new Eminem song on like <laughs> on loop because I love him so much. And all I can hear in my background is abracadabra. <laughs> Very great song for you Eminem fans and for you youngsters. He is the original, so knock it off and go listen to how great he is. <laughs> it's actually funny because I, in speaking of that, I saw a TikTok this morning about um, like these sort of these younger uh, people doing first reactions to some of yeah. the older songs. Those are yeah. so funny. Their look on their faces are hysterical. It's like, yeah. what is this? Yeah. <laughs> And they're like, how did I never hear this before? Like, well, I don't know. We've been living under a rock because you think anyone that's not 20 can't do anything. So um, anyways, it's a great, great single. I was really excited and his album comes out shortly. So um, it should awesome. be fun. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. So that's got nothing to do with what we're talking about. It's just that now you guys are all going to go and listen to it. And it'll be stuck in your head and you'll be like me and put it on repeat <laughs> all day long because it takes a long time to learn all those words. It does. It does. <laughs> and uh, it also takes a long time to get those words once you learn them out of your head. Yes. So, right. Okay. Which is where, you know what, I think I'm just going to segue right from that. I thought that was a brilliant segue to what we once did is not necessarily. <laughs> no. Is that a good segue? No, not at all. Everything's changing, <laughs> as you know. We're, uh, we've been talking a lot about AI, 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 and it's because um, AI is changing yeah. everything in every yeah. situation. And one of the situations is uh, coaching, right? Yes, that's a big one that's changing in um, the marketplace. And yeah. not just because of AI, but coaching in general is changing. So AI is adding to it. I don't know if you've seen those ads. Um, I don't know what the app is, but... Um, it is promoting using the AI coach for your fitness coach instead oh, I of seen the ads. Mm. Yeah, instead of having a fitness coach, it actually it scans your body and then it gives you what exercises you need to be doing. Hmm. Kind of interesting. I, I, would think, love I'm, I think I'm very interested in seeing what it would recommend. Yeah. yeah, I would love to try it. It's just that it's a paid one. And um, so I'm always looking for a free trial. <laughs> if anyone knows that, let me know. But it was it was just an interesting thing because I'm like, oh, well, you know, that could be really cool. Because if you're if you say if it's I don't know how I mean, it's not going to scan you for disease or cardio. It's going to scan for your body type. So if right. you say if it scans it, and you say, you know, I want to work on core, and they can tell you you need to work on core the scan, then I guess it can give you those specific exercises. I don't know, um, you know, how effective it is. If anyone has actually tried it, give us a shout. I Let would us love know. to know. Yeah, that sounds very, very interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, yeah, I think just there's that coaching, there's personal fitness coaching, physical yeah. coaching, you know, business coaching, personal coaching. I think somebody asked me the other day, oh, so you got, you're a coach. And the first thing you get asked is, are you a life coach? Yeah. And I'm like, I am not a life coach. Yeah. <laughs> not life coaches here. But there's a lot of things that I've seen, just a few um, things I've seen, different people that I'm connected to on Facebook and Instagram and um, they're changing their business models and I'm seeing that trend come, right? Somebody's like, oh, I've stopped doing online this. Um, I actually did a referral to somebody I knew in regards to coaching and a friend asked me and I and she goes, oh, I'm no longer taking one-on-one -on -one clients. Right. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And then I see somebody else shutting down sort of their online coaching business and I think there's 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 changes there's changes that are happening. What do you what are you seeing? Well, I think um, you know before you always thought I have to have to have a coach, one coach, right? right? You have to coach and you meet them every week, and you know we've talked about the ineffectiveness of it a lot of the times because um, you know people come in not prepared. Right. They expect the coach to just tell them what to do, and it doesn't work that way. Right. right. And um, and I think now there are so many opportunities to be more effective if you're doing a one on one. Um, if you've done some 
background. Like, so if you've right. given your clients courses so they can go through and then you can help them. So what we did for those of you who are in Mastermind City, you know, but what we did for our community is we have a wealth of, of different um, programs and our programs are very specific. So they're not like the generic programs where, you know, you learn about theory. It's very much very clear at the end of this course, one course, you will learn how to do a keynote speech. You will learn how to have a podcast on air, like literally have one on air, not just theory of here's what you do. We do step by step. But the key to all those that that we believe was right and the trends was to add our coaching in every week as a group coaching. Right. So that, um, everyone is benefiting from being able to talk to you live, getting uh, asking whatever questions they need after they've seen the courses. Right. Because they've gone through and they've learned all everything. They've done the heavy lifting. And now the questions are very focused. Right. They're very focused in terms of what they specifically need. The other piece, which is really cool about group coaching, as as we see every single week, is everyone learns from each other, right? Yeah. So people are asking questions that you may have not ever considered asking, and then you realize, oh, yeah, that applies to me too. Right? Well, and it's also interesting, again, what we see week after week is the people who come to the group coaching session without the question. Yeah. And that's okay. Cause we'll, you know, say like, what's, what's new, what's going on, whatever the case may be. And they're like, I'm just here to listen. Yeah. And that's okay too, because you benefit from the people who are asking the questions. You benefit yeah. from the information that we're sharing, whether we're doing a hot seat, whether we're looking at whatever part of their business, we're helping them on their signature message, whatever the case may be, they're there to learn and listen as opposed to on on a specific case yeah right which you can't get in a general course so yeah. um that's and been I think, interesting i think thing that to... there's a big piece in terms of you know i i'm a big proponent of getting um multiple information multiple channels of information right so um, when you come to for example a group coaching you get the leader's idea which is in our case stacy and i and then you also get in, input from everybody else. And right. then if you're working with one coach, a static coach, then you're only getting one perspective. Yes. And is it good or bad? I don't know, because I've had clients in the past that have been with coaches for years and they didn't accomplish anything. And so it's kind of like, well, didn't you notice six months down the road that nothing was happening? And they didn't. So. It's like anything, it's good and bad, right? So it doesn't mean that person necessarily was a bad coach, but it maybe wasn't a good fit. So if you have the access to be able to learn through courses and workshops and lives and then ask questions every week um, and that we do specifically, which I think is very, very valuable. So if you're with another group, I mean, it doesn't have to just be us, but um, we allow you to ask anything you want in the group coaching. So yep. if you're stuck on, you know, I, I don't understand how to do, you know, how to put this one piece in, or do you have a tool for this? Or what am I doing wrong? You can ask it and you'll get that answer when you need it. Right. So that's, exactly. that's yeah, key. absolutely. But, I mean, a lot of coaches out there are, um, they're worried about changing their models. They're right. worried about going from one on one. But that's the trend. And, you know, the interesting part of what's going now is uh, the whole AI piece and what it brings to coaching, right? Exactly. So AI is a tool. Remember, AI <laughs> is a tool. And how you deploy that tool is what gives you the result. So uh, there are a lot of AI coaches, which meaning that I don't mean a physical person, but an AI, a yep. robotic coach that you can ask questions and it will give you answers. It doesn't have um, a lot of empathy or a lot of touch. <laughs> um, for some of us, that's great. We just like facts. For other people, they want that, that you know, oh, how are you? What's going on this week? And all that conversation. So it really comes down to what you prefer. But I think at this point, if you're a coach, 
you have to be open to the fact that yes, you can still do one-on-ones, but you can do groups, you can do multiples, you can do so many things. And um, you just have to realize that like everything else in the world right now, coaching is changing too. Absolutely. And I think that also goes um, hand in hand with again, um, the model that we have, which is again, we offer courses, a whole library of everything. And yeah. we offer coaching where you can come again, um, having a conversation with somebody who wanted to do now a sort of multi series online program. And they right. did not want to include coaching in that right. program. And I'm like, well, that actually becomes a little bit of a difficult process. Because yeah. I said, you know, what? Are, uh, so we talked about price, like, well, what are you thinking of charging? And she's like, well, I, <laughs> I love people, I want to make a lot of money. And I'm like, well, thank you. Um, not helpful. Um, but I said, unfortunately, we're also in a world where information is very accessible. So yes. even if I don't know where to find that information, AI can help me find that information. Yeah. And it's probably on YouTube and it's probably free. How you're going right. to package that is going to be the value. Right. But adding that group coaching into a course offering may actually up the value because they can ask those questions because they get your expertise versus here's my program, go buy it for $3,000. Like it's, yeah. it's, that's also changed. And I think a lot of people are introducing that coaching in as well. Well, I think I think almost every um, kind of hub coaching that we see now, including ours, offers some type of of assistance, whether it's group coaching or one on one. And I think it's really, really important for people to understand that. First of all, you have to understand what kind of coach you are, and if you're only interested in one on one, you know, some people are just timid right? They're timid about doing group coaching because anything can be thrown at you. So you have to be, all, you have to be thinking on your feet. You have right. to know your stuff and right. that's the difference. So, you know, so, so there are coaches out there that um, have one-on-ones, they prepare for that client, right? They do that because they know what, where the path is going, but like we prefer to be able just ask us anything you want and we'll help you um, get down that path. Because I think um, everyone changes at a, a, a rapid speed now, right? So, mm -hmm. for example, we have people in our uh, membership that have changed directions in one month about 20 <laughs> times, right? <laughs> so, if you're doing a one on one, that coach is really, it's, that's hard for them because right. they're con And if you're, if you're, um, available every week and they're changing that's fine we just go we go with it we go yeah that's cool that's not good let's go down here but that is harder to do as both a coach or a client right as a right. client as well because a client most coaches you're you are uh, purchasing a, a, a package with that coach and you are obligated to stay within that for i don't know a, a year six months three months whatever it is and, and that's the other problem. Like if you change directions and realize this coach isn't the right person for you, what do you do? Right. Or you're only meeting once a month. Yeah. And if you, if you would like to change direction, that can really delay the whole yeah. process if you need, um, you know, their assistance or whatever in making that yeah. happen. So that can really delay progress in your business as well. But I think, you know, what's here, here's for you coaches out there. Here's, um, and, and if you are, you, you know what, I'm going to invite you to come to our community and check us out sometime and see how we coach. But because here's the, here's the bigger dilemma for you, you if you haven't noticed how things are changing. Um, and, and, you know, we're telling you people want instant answers, and that's why we're there every week, right? Just take a look at Reels or at uh, TikToks. And what happens? People ask questions in the DMs, in the messages, right? They ask in the messages and they expect an answer right yep. away because that is the nature of the world right now, instant answers. So they're not gonna, gonna sign up with somebody who want, they meet once a month, like the old days, two years ago, once a month and get their answers. They want their answers now. And I'm one of those people. Right. Yeah. 
I would never, I would only sign up if I, uh, somebody, if I knew that I could access them when I need them. So for me, once a week is fine. Or if I can answer, if I can access them through um, messaging or through emails or whatever, but I expect answers. You know, what's the worst thing when you're working on something, right? It's and like, then, and then you can't move forward. And no. you're like, can you imagine waiting a month? Like, <laughs> And, and I'll tell you, one of the reasons we promote big time, you guys know, on Tech City, which stay with us because that comes next. Um, on Tech City, we always um, talk about how we invest in small um, startup entrepreneurial softwares. The, one of the reasons that we like that is because the founders or the creators always talk to you one on one yep. and, and put you through anything you need. So it's like a coach. So you just jump on chat and you know it's the founder that's answering you and they and you ask them the question, you get the answer and boom, you're done. Right? Yeah, exactly. Bigger you don't company, have to be. more bloated, doesn't give you those responses, or you get customer service people that aren't as good as you. <laughs> yeah, and sense. sometimes they don't know because they're unfortunately reading from a script. Yeah. Right. So the other aspect of if you do want to do so just, you know, group coaching versus individual coaching, because obviously there's people who are like, oh, I still I still want that one on one. I still yeah. want that one on one connection. And absolutely, there's a lot of value to that type of coaching. Yeah. And one of the big things that I've seen is the I don't even know what to call it, the intro call, the discovery call, the, <laughs> the whatever the case may be. I feel like the trend back in the day a couple of years ago was a free coaching call. Right. Now they've moved to a shorter call, which is more of a get to know you call. Discovery call, yeah. Whatever you want to call it, the, yeah. yeah. So those I think are still very valuable when you're talking about, you know, personal coaching, you're talking about life coaching, that kind of stuff. You do need to determine fit, but I'm glad that we've moved to a, I just want to have a short conversation with you. I don't want a coaching call. No. Right. Cause that's too, it's almost like too much pressure because I right. haven't really talked to you yet. It's the whole, that whole dating thing, right? <laughs> like right. I want to get to know you. I want to see yeah. if you're a good fit. And I want to do multiple calls to make sure that I want to move forward with this one-on-one -on -one, um, coaching. Again, talking about more of that life coaching, that personal coaching, you know, whatever the right. case may be. So well, I think we, that's really well, valuable. I, I'm not, so personally, um, I don't like those calls. I don't like any calls like that. And, and because why don't I like them? Because you know, it's at the end of the day, it's a sales pitch. Sorry, guys, that's the truth. I don't and please all you coaches that are going to jump all over me and say no, we want to see if we're a good fit. You do. But at the end of the day, it's a sales pitch. Yeah. That's what it is. So what do we do differently? If somebody wants to talk to us, we just say, come join us for free at one of our weekly coaching sessions. See us in action. Ask whatever questions you want. And if you like it, then cool, we'll work with you. But the difference is you can actually see us do what we do. Whereas on a discovery call, you don't. However, if you do, plan those calls to make an intro call instead of a coaching call, which is what, um, which is what Stacy alluded to, put it out there exactly what it is. Hey, it's a meet and greet. We want to yes. see if we're a good fit. So what I would do, what I would recommend is to absolutely be able to schedule those calls. And we have that. Yeah. Don't get us wrong. We have that, but ours are very clear schedule a call, see if we can help you. But rather than turn it into a sales pitch, offer them some way of being able to see you after or not a free coaching for one on one, but a group call or give them, send them a video, um, show them show yourself in action. Yes, that one call is very important. It's how you actually specify that what it's about. So it's like, essentially, it's, can I help you? Are we even a right fit? Do we even, does it even make sense that we should remotely work together? Right? So those yep. are important. Yeah. And um, the, I guess the the hang up most people have is how you do it. Like, mm -hmm. how do you, 
how do you offer that up and how do you, you know, get people to sign up? And that's a whole. Well, that's why I think back in the day, 10 yeah. years ago, like before the dinosaurs roamed the earth. Yes. You know, we did the sort of shorter intro call and then we moved yeah. into the phase where it was a full coaching call because yeah. we want to add more value. <clears throat> right. We want to give people that information. We want them to experience us. Yeah. However, that didn't, it didn't result in anything no. because you haven't gotten to know them yet. You haven't yeah. decided to dive in. I'm not going to dive in no. with somebody on a first call. No. So I'm glad that we've kind of moved to shorter call. It is an intro call. It is a get to know you. I'll explain more about what we're about, what, you know, what yeah. you're looking for and we're done. And it's that's not important. a coaching call. Absolutely. It's, it's very important that as a coach or anyone that offers any service, any service, it's important. It's kind of like, you know, when you need to get some fix and somebody comes out, and gives you a quote. It's not really the quote you're interested. You're more interested in, in do I, is this somebody I feel good with? Is it somebody right. that actually can do what I need? And the quote will say, yeah, he can do all this, right? So that's the kind of get to know. So it's really important that you do have those. But I think the missing step is seeing you in action. So yes. there's that connect from taking 10 minutes of your time to, to talk to this person. 10, 15 minutes, we never say more than that. There's no point because you'll know right away if you yes. guys want to work together or not and if it's a good fit. So, for example, you have, you know, people can call you about podcasting. Mm -hmm. So there is a they assume that some people assume you do everything. You give them the idea you do. You you know what I mean? You hold their hand on everything. Some people only want you to edit. Right. Or, or produce. And um, it's amazing. No matter how much detail you go to in your services, they don't get it. So the right. only way you can get around that is a call. Sorry, I pressed mute on my mic by accident. <laughs> All of a sudden I went to say something and my mic was muted. I'm like, why is this watching? No, it's absolutely true. And I think it's important for the person who's the client to be able to ask those questions as well and to have that time before um, they dive in. But I can't agree more with what happens next. Like if you um, if you go into our courses, before you sign up, there's actually a what to do before coaching. Um, right. We actually have a course and it's called coaching okay. tips. Basically, it's like, well, what do you yeah. do before the call? What do you do during the call? What do you do after the call? And I think right. that's really important both for the client yep. to know, sort of to think about some questions to ask. Also afterwards for the coach to do that follow up to see them in action. So I, I kind of like the um, that accountability piece both yeah. for the client and for the coach and not to just go so because you're right otherwise it turns into a sales call of so are you ready to sign up like can i send yeah. you the link right now and instead do a follow-up with you know an invitation uh you know videos uh here's you know here's some things you can watch before yeah. you make that decision that leaves it in the client's hands and it doesn't become a high pressure sales tactic and it's very so um <clears throat> there are very specific um models that follow the sales pitch and and it works don't get me wrong right so if you want to follow those models and take them through and tell them what you can do and 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 uh, sign them up great we just value we know what we can do and so we know if you see us in action that you'll want to sign up so the difference is i'm just i don't i don't respond to high pressure tactics and um, and some of those calls, you know, they teach you how to give them really no information. It's mm -hmm. just a sales call, and I don't like those. So there's a, there's two there's a couple of different models. So hey, if it's if that's working for you, good for you, um, great, and hopefully it keeps working for you in the future. But I'm not so sure because as we said, with the advent of everything new. So for example, like people who teach you. How to do well like one of the things we do teaching you how to do funnels and online programs and stuff you can get all that information yeah that exists so the question is do you want the access to somebody when you want it to 
ask the questions rather than again a weekly thing about um you know how are you doing on your progress that's an accountability coach that's That's a whole different thing yeah (laughs) so everything is different the quest all we're saying is you have to be able to these are the two things that we want you to do one offer some way to get to know you and the client right and then two is offer them some way to see you in action with before before they have to commit to three six nine twelve months whatever you have so whether it is you know watching giving them a free course right to see how you how your brain works and how you structure things which is a really great idea that's one of the things we we say you should do offer them an opportunity to watch your group coaching and participate in it or um, offer them something other than just this is what I'm going to do for you on that on that call. And this is what I promise. And this is, you know, this is how I'm going to solve your problem. I have no proof of that. And I'm not going to let you see the proof of that. I just want you to sign on the dotted line right now is not not a good way to doing doing things. No, I just I'm always fascinated because, you know, we've both encountered lots of our clients have been through very high pressure coaching where people have charged them thousands and like $30,000 and like they've, they've at told them to cash in their um, RSVP, mm-hmm. RSPs or their 401ks, depending on where you are um, to get this coaching. And like, it would you would never hear that from us. We would well, never tell you to get in debt to go to coaching. <laughs> and like, the amount of people that have come and gone, I've, you know, I've done more in the past month than I did with a year or seeing people come after a year of coaching and they're still no further ahead than they were the year before. Like it's just, it's not good. So really vetting um, and seeing what's a good fit for you is really important.